So, <laughs> we all know who Call for an Uprising is, right? I've covered him several times, and despite the original jokes that I used to make about how, well, I haven't covered him that much, so I guess I'm not obsessed with him. I, I guess at this point, I all the Call fans are going to hop in the comments section and start calling me obsessed no matter what I do. Uh, but... We got a little bit of news where he's concerned, so I guess we'll cover that. But of course, as always, before we cover any of that news, let's go ahead and check the fan art section first. And from Lore, we have something utterly terrifying. We have a bloodied version of me <laughs> saying, hada, hada, you fucking monster. Uh, but apparently it looks like I just got done bludgeoning whichever viewer uh, decided to spend their 1,000 channel points on subjecting me to saying Ara Ara. So, um, hopefully that will be there in your nightmare fuels, or perhaps some of your wet dreams. I don't know what you degenerates end up thinking about. Not my business, not my thing. So, let's go ahead and check out A Call for Cupcakes, his, his new channel. I, I think I know what we're going to be seeing here. I'm pretty certain I know what we're going to be seeing here. Hey, everyone. This is a call. Uh, this is calling for a call for a ki cupcake kitties. And this is Jesus Christ, dude. Come on, please. You've had like hundreds of thousands of subscribers before i since i implore you please get some kind of padding for your microphone i'm sorry i i know it's a little thing i know the echoing is not the most important thing like there's all kinds of problems with call for an uprising the echoing is the least of them but holy shit this is one of those ones that it never ceases to get on my nerves this is my very first YouTube channel. Thanks for being here. I know a lot of you are probably saying you sound familiar and you're really good at this. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm terrible at it. I'm so nervous. I'm sweating. Oh, yeah, it's totally his first YouTube channel, everybody. He's he's totally not made multiple YouTube channels over the course of years every time he gets a strike. Paime, thank you very much for redeeming your points for an oh, well, oh, well. No, I, I've sounded like a guy who got chainsawed once and another who got shotgun, but you know, I'm new here and I'm excited and I want to welcome you to my channel. And here on my channel, I'm going to talk about all sorts of awesome things that help the world go round okay. and round, right? Or flat and flat, whatever you believe. <laughs> you get that? Well... Can you say ban evasion? Yeah, Nicky Sheep. Uh, Nick, Nick Buship. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Yeah, this is a ban invasion. This is a ban evasion. He's been doing he's been doing ban evasion on YouTube for years. Every single time his channel gets hit with a couple strikes, instead of just tightening up his content like most creators would do, instead of just realizing that oh shit, maybe I need to stop the thing I'm doing, he constantly makes new channels. The last time, he made a call for a rainbow and did a call out video on it uh towards me got a got a whole bunch of viewers over to my channel uh not the kind of viewers that i'm usually a fan of but you know they came regardless um you know considering the degeneracy from his channel maybe that was more literal than figurative in their case anyway that terrible mental image aside uh this has not been the first time this has happened the last time was a call for a rainbow, and then, of course, eventually, a call for a rainbow got rebranded into call for an uprising again, because that's what he does every time. The the little image here, 20,000 subscribers already on that new channel from people who were just coming to his new one, because to them, he's just being censored. To call for an uprising fans, he's not doing anything wrong. He's just getting censored by the evil, big, bad, satanic internet. And this is his way of, of avoiding that. Jesus. Stationary or not, I don't know. <laughs> but this channel is about sing-alongs. I'm going to be singing with cats. I'm going to do makeup tutorials. And I'm going to do cooking lessons. It's all going to be here. And I'm also going to meet, introduce you to my YouTube friends. Yeah. There's oh, boy. Oh, no. I think I know what's happened. I think I know what's coming. People like 
Hannah, my good friend Hannah, who got a quick channel. And not Hannah Montana, Hannah the Mana. <laughs> you get it? <sighs> so, of course, this is the part where he's talking about Hannah Reloaded. Uh, but because Hannah's trans and Call for an Uprising is a hateful piece of shit, uh, he's got to say Hannah the Man. That, that's what he's got to do. Because, realistically, gender jokes are the only thing that people like this have. Also, uh, the true master of games. Thank you very much for the host. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, no, he he did, Jemshin. He did. Dude, this guy... This guy cannot fathom the idea that trans people exist because he can't fathom the idea that science is not on his side. Yeah, we're talking about that thing and then a lot of other things here on this new channel that we're going to interact only if i can get a live show with the the, the big guy uh, you know and maybe the big guy is he still talking about hannah because hannah's not a guy i mean i figured that the name hannah would maybe tip you off uh but just yeah some of these other ones like the the two the guy with the great teeth i forget his name and so many others but we're gonna talk about so much stuff and it's gonna be so much fun uh-huh so i don't want to keep talking here because this video i'm not i really don't want you to keep talking i'm not gonna lie I'm gonna put anything special in but just be prepared for cats cupcakes singing dancing pride as i celebrate my first full year with as a gender I, I will, I'm going to have a gender reveal. His first year as a gender. Call, you realize that you've had a gender this whole time, right? I, I understand this is like a really, really poor attempt at satire. I get it. But it doesn't change the fact that I'm cringing out of my eyeballs. Because I've been living in shame for a long time, but I've, I have a gender reveal to let everyone know what gender I identify as. Um, and that's going to be exciting. I know you'll all open, welcome me with open arms and we'll all hug and we'll have cupcakes together. And then we're even going to take a trip down the Hershey Highway. You like Hershey kisses and fudge and chocolate? Yeah. You go to the amusement park with the Hershey Highway, right? I mean, the Hershey Park. Oops. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a lot of stuff there. And Hershey Highway is that is that a way to like that bag on I'm just curious here is that just like bagging on anal sex I hold on I have to know I have to know this just this sounds like that what the fuck is a Hershey Highway a Hershey Highway the anus or anal sex yep Okay, cool. I figured that's what it was. I didn't... It, the first time I've ever heard it, but it sounds like a fudge packing joke. DM Trey, thank you very much for redeeming an... You fucking degenerate. Be careful. It might hurt, if you know what I mean. Don't sit down too hard. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you listen to yourself? Like, I'm so... Look, okay, look. I am one for advocating for owning your cringe. Honestly, there have been, there are straight up porn artists on Twitter, uh, Tice specifically, who has, who has gotten me on the whole like uh, owning your cringe thing. So I, I get it. I get it. <sighs> Cooters exist because you want, you need to own your cringe. I understand, Tice. It's fine. This is a call out for you specifically. Anyway. <laughs> Like, I get it. I get it. Own your cringe. Don't let other people fucking decide whether or not you get to be a cringy motherfucker. But at the same time, right, I feel like at uh, uh, there's kind of a point of no return. And I feel like Call crossed that point like two years ago. So those are all things we're going to talk about on my new exceptional channel. But most importantly, Cat. Kitty cats, meow. Uh, no, 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 no. If you want, you, you don't do it that way. 
I'm sorry. Not only are you cringe, but you're upsetting my Neko sensibilities. Meow. 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 There you go. That's how you do a fucking meow. Jesus Christ, of all the things you fuck up here. You have you you, you fuck up a meow. Meow. Hiss. 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 <laughs> so, anyway, I'm super nervous. This is my first video. Jesus Christ. Aided Furball, speaking of cats. <laughs> Aided Furball, thank you very much for the raid. And I hope that I get YouTube famous and I'm going to hopefully I get 4,000 watch hours so I could submit it to YouTube and I can get it monetized and then my channel will get shared and I could become a huge YouTube star because YouTube doesn't YouTube allows people naturally to become popular on here and share their what their opinions are. You know, they don't suppress anyone out there except people who tell the truth. <clears throat> I mean, people who don't tell the truth. Yeah, because Call is definitely the type of person who tells the truth. 110%. Don't worry, Call. We believe you. We believe you. None of us believe you. Yeah, so I'm going to naturally try to become a YouTube star. So I hope you'll be here for the journey with me. I hope you've got your plugs for your butts. <laughs> <laughs> As it turns out, Call, as it turns out, you actually can get a plug for your butt. And I can tell you and a great way you can do it, okay? Listen here. I need you, especially if you're a Call for an Uprising fan, because holy shit, you deserve to have something other than a stick up your ass. Please, go to ddlgplayground.com. Consider using coupon code SURIS, because that coupon code will give you 10% off anything on their store. If you like the content that you're watching, consider getting something to pleasure yourself, to reward you for being not a horrible person. Uh, but if you hate what you're seeing and you want to type a mean comment in the comment section, you are... I implore you to, but I also implore you to go buy a plug off of DDLG Playground using coupon code SERIS to insert straight into your rectum and go fuck yourself. Hang on now. Yeah. And um, I guess I've drawn this out for long enough for my first intro video, but this is what my channel's going to be about. And hopefully you guys will share some stuff in the comment section of what you want to hear me discuss. Do you want makeup material? A cat? Do you want cat singing? I, I can't think of anything else. You tell me in the comment section and I'll take it under advisement because this is a channel where sharing is caring. And, and he's sharing cringe with us, I guess. Love is tolerance and accepted. We love all here. If you identify as a bowling ball, you are welcome. I don't care because I love all and I I hate people who don't love and accept everything. Uh -huh. We all need to. If somebody knocks on your door and they just and you answer the door and then you say, "Hi, I'm a call for cupcake wait, what am I? A call for cupcake kitties." And then the person <laughs> extends their hand and they say, "Hi, I'm a ballpoint pen." That's wonderful that they've identified what they are and who they are and they're living. Do you really just have the one joke? Is it is it seriously just several different versions of the attack hel of the attack helicopter joke? Is that is that it? Come on, do better than this. We get it. You identify as an asshole and you identify as a dumbass. And as a result, I cannot judge you for being both an asshole or a dumbass. That might be discriminatory. Living as they are, and you must accept that because that's the way the world is now. So I'm ready to become YouTube famous. Are you ready to come along for the ride? Yay! So make sure you sub to my channel and stick around and try to watch the videos in full so we can get this over with. I mean, <clears throat> so we can continue our journey to YouTube stardom. Yay! James. Or alternatively call. Alternatively, because you are engaging in both harassment hey, of certain content, Trump. because you are engaging in both harassment of certain content creators, uh, and you also are engaging in ban evasion, let's just go ahead and do this. So let's see. Uh, we certainly got harassment, uh, but we don't have any type of ban evasion, ban evasion here. 
that we can use. At least that doesn't seem to be it. But we can just do hateful abusive content. Uh, yes, promotes hatred. We'll go there. Next. Okay, additional details. So, so this is a call for an uprising. He is attempting ban evasion as usual. The last time it was with his channel... A call for a rainbow. And this time he's here with a new one. Not only does he specifically mention trans content creator Hannah Reloaded, he has a history of advocating for hatred towards LGBTQ people. There we go. We just hit the fucking button. There we go. And if all of you want to do the same, there's the link to his video. By all means. By all means, do the same thing. And I'm sure there's going to be somebody who's going to get super upset. And I know, I know for a fact that there's going to be, if, if Call finds this video when it's done, there's going to be a flagging campaign done against me. And it wouldn't be the first time it's happened, so fucking bring it. The last time this happened, it was Nick Fuentes' degenerate groipers who did their best. But this, uh, all of this comes, by the way, from user Mal, uh, Halloween Town, uh, on Twitter. So thank you very much for providing all this here. Uh, but we have the call for Cupcake Kitties. And then, of course, there is the last call for an Uprising channel. Uh, at 43,000 subscribers. This was the one that was originally called for a rainbow. Uh, and then, of course, he has two or three other call for an uprising channels that he has been using to engage in ban evasion for ages. Um, so, just, uh, just throwing that out there in case any of you did not know that Call is never going to go away because he's a cockroach uh, and is not... Totally, totally not trying to engage in ban evasion constantly at all at all times. Like literally without fail. But, you know, here we are. Also, apparently we have another part here. Oh, dude literally shows like all of his fucking in the streets is channels just, there. Know, and I'll go to libraries and upload then if I have to. Here we go. <laughs> the new video I had. Let's go ahead and see what his explanation and the is. the jab and being patriotic is going up exclusively on my website for those people who are subscribed. And the video that was deleted, of course, was the Variant Factory video because they were calling people who don't have the jab Variant Factories. And I was noting that it makes no sense because people who are jabbed are supposed to be immune. You don't know how fucking... Okay, so you don't get whole immunity from the fucking vaccine, Call. You don't. You get a certain level of protection. It's not perfect, as nothing is. You can literally say that, oh, no, this makes no sense. But all you show is that you, you deliberately do not understand basic science. And if we want to be <laughs> variant factories, then it's only at our own risk if you use common sense and no one else seems to be doing it except me and the people here on YouTube who are awake. And the rest of the world just continues to eat the Kool-Aid out of the buttholes of YouTube and the rest of the mainstream media outlets out there that are suppressing content and forcing content down their throats. And yet At least we agree that YouTube's algorithms are anything but good. Yes, I use Kool-Aid as a food, not a drink. And some of them might say, oh, Jim Jones, Jonestown. Oh, yeah, that video also got a strike that I did about Jonestown being a CIA operation. That's available on my website, too. So I needed to rant. <laughs> Wait, Jonestown was a CIA operation? That's the first I've heard about that one. Because I have everything possible to rant about Serenity now. Please just sub to the other channels. Make sure you're there if you want to see the new video I had posted for today. It's on my website. He's saying eat Kool-Aid because he's trying to say that it's shit. He's making another anal sex joke. Because he said eat Kool-Aid out of YouTube's assholes. He's, he's trying to say that you're being anally gouged by YouTube or some shit. And I thank everyone for your support. This is just getting absolutely ridiculous is what it's getting. I've had PayPal shut down. I've had Teespring shut down. I mean, they want to... That's the thing. They try to do defunding to take people down. 
yeah, because you shouldn't be able to make money off of literal fucking hatred. Like, I'm I'm sorry, Call. I, I understand you think that what you're doing is, you know, legitimate just bringing up points, but there's a difference between should you be allowed to have your opinion online? Sure, you should. Uh, and should platforms be responsible for getting money to you for doing it? And in your case, I don't think you should. That's why I tell people, well, if you're a Patreon, it really helps. If you join the website, it really helps. Because it does. Because this is what they're trying to do. They want to smoke me out. So it's like, he has no way of making any income doing this. He's going to have to get forced to take hours out of his day to do something else. Thus, he won't make as much content. And guess what? And then you'll be Onisioned. And it will be glorious. I'll live in the streets as if, you know, and I'll go to libraries and upload then if I have to. They can kiss my rear end. And I can't wait for Judgment Day for these people to be eradicated. Call? Call? Really? Real? You think that that's a thing that you're okay saying? You want to bitch about being taken off of YouTube as a platform? And yet, this is where you go? You're literally singing in glee about people being murdered. And that's, that's the thing for you? Jesus Christ. He's not a call for an uprising. He's a call for violence. He's a call for violence. My phone fell, and I don't know where I am in the video anymore. They can kiss my rear end, and I can't wait for Judgment Day for these people to be eradicated. Eradicated. So, yeah, so can I get what is stochastic terrorism for 500, please? And the only thing I ask, if I could have any, if if wishes come really do come true, you know, because they always talk about wishes and magic because they're Satanists, well, I would love the Lord to give me the chance to be on the battlefield because I would love to clothesline, punt, and eradicate these people myself. Call, come on now. Come on. Violent or repulsive content. Oh, we don't actually have any of that here. Uh, <laughs> promotes terrorism. No. I think we're just as hateful or abusive. Promotes hatred or violence. Literally wants, wants to kill and clothesline YouTube executives. Sorry, guys. There you go. Sorry, Call. You agreed to YouTube's terms of service. And in that terms of service, you decided to be a fuck nugget. The viewership says, oh, this guy sounds like he's running away from the battle for the first... Sounds like he'd run away from the battle the first time shit got real. Yeah, more than likely he would. Is this where, like, we can have, like, one of those... One of those Jake Paul-esque celebrity boxing matches on fucking HBO. Jesus Christ. And you might say, well, call that might not come true. Well, then maybe I'll have to do it here in the real world. <laughs> Think about that. Thank you, guys. Dude! You pulled it out of your fictional fantasy and immediately hopped into, ah, oh, well, I guess I'll just kill them in real life. Jesus fuck, dude. Jesus God fuck. <sighs> Ran the fool. Thank you very much for redeeming your points for an... Ha -da -ha -da. You fucking degenerate. You guys with the poorly timed ara aras and your... Uh, you kids with your ara aras and your owos. Look at you. You all filthy degenerates. Every single one of you. You with your anime waifus. Jesus Christ. I just walked in. What the fuck did I just hear? Oh, don't worry, Sheena. Here, we'll play it again. Just in case YouTube needs a reminder that this guy's on their platform still. Loki the Tired Trickster, I swear to fuck God. Thank you for redeeming your oh well. Oh well. Come really do come true, you know, because they always talk about wishes and magic because they're Satanists. Well, I would love the Lord to give me the chance to be on the battlefield because I would love to clothesline punt and eradicate these people myself and you might say well call that might not come true well then maybe i'll have to do it here in the real world <laughs> think about that thank you guys for listening please sub to the other channels now
immediately right now. Ha <laughs> ha! No. Can I just get like the Alistair meme real quick? Ha! No. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking God. Jadamax says, I would fuck God, but only because I know he'd hate it. Yeah, fuck God, but only in the ass. Please. I know I'm dragging him out, but I honestly wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if Call supports Getter. Hey, he probably does. And dude, fucking... Come on, dude. Come on, Call. I know that we had our conversation on my channel where you literally said that my friends and loved ones should either commit suicide or, or commit themselves to a mental ward. But seriously, dude, you're making a really good case for the padded room for yourself. AeriXD, thank you very much for redeeming your points for a hydrate. I will drink. I will drink to this madness. Uh, no, the back door is holier than the front door. Uh, only in the sense that we can maybe stretch it. Have vodka. I don't drink alcohol. So I can't do much here. I leave you alone for a few months and you're staging an uprising. Not me! It's this fuck nugget. Oh my god. Anywho. Anywho. Hopefully, you guys... Uh, god, I really hate saying enjoyed that content. Uh, because I don't know if enjoyment is really what's been... What, what can be taken from this. Um, found informative? No, I don't think I can do that one either. If you guys watched the video, <laughs> hit the like button and subscribe over on YouTube if you haven't already. Uh, if you want to support me making more content, uh, consider following and subscribing over on Twitch and also checking the description where there are links to my Patreon as well as other methods of supporting my channel. Uh, They're all listed in the link tree below. So if those are things that you want to do, uh, please consider doing that. With all that said, I, uh... Huh. Man. I didn't realize I was going to be emotionally spent this quick. Fuck me. Insert into video tagline here. <laughs>